So what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at everything you need to know about Micro. So I'm going to be doing a seven, set, a seven video series uh, on Micro and I'm going to be describing the different types of Micro uh, as well as the different formations you could use your units as well as the different unit stances that help you win more fights and trade more efficiently. So for today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at what is micro, uh, what it's used for, and we're also going to take a look at the first form of micro, which is the hit and run. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first form of micro is the hit and run. And before I get into it, let's talk a little bit about what is micro. So just to show you guys around, I've got three scenarios. So I've got 20 archers, so 20 crossbow versus 20 crossbow, so even numbers. I've got 20 crossbow versus about 12 knights. And then I've got 20 crossbow versus two mangonels. We're going to run this test twice. Once when I just patrol each fight into the opponent and I don't touch the units after that and the other when I actually control the units to try and trade better and actually win the fight with more units remaining or at least um, you know if even if I lose the fight I end up killing more of his units. Uh, so the idea is my, of micro is uh, with a little bit of extra actions and a little bit of attention you're able to make better use of your army and end up using a uh, little army to do uh, greater things. Uh, the stock standard uh, patrol of the army uh, is good for most situations, but sometimes uh, a human brain microing uh, can sometimes do better than just what the game inputs in uh, to the fights. So let's take a look at it. I will start by patrolling each of these uh, typical game situation engagements, and so I will put my units uh, and into patrol, and I'll just let them do their thing. Again, I'm not going to do uh, any any more micro to this fight. I'm not going to touch anything, and we're going to see exactly what happens. So uh, you guys can see the units are fighting. And, uh, well, there's not a whole lot going on to this. Again, there's no ballistics in this at all. So it's just uh, pure uh, crossbow versus crossbow. And I might end up winning the fight because I am patrolling versus an AI and I'm taking the uh, you know initiative and I'm hitting first. However, you can see that it's pretty much an even trade. I've won the fight with four crossbows remaining and there's not much to it. I'm not going to do a whole lot with those four archers. The next fight, it's going to be uh, 20 crossbows versus 12 knights. And again, I tried to simulate castage upgrades, so this has 5 plus 2, 5 plus 1, and the knights have uh, 2 plus 1 and 10 plus 1. So it's pretty much a standard situation you'll find yourself in most of your games. And we'll see just how much uh, uh, micro has, how much, how much of an impact micro has to these different scenarios. And maybe we'll be able to answer which scenario uh, is worth microing and which is just worth it to just patrol and forget about it. Because remember, at the end of the day, microing uh, is something that you have to actually do. In which case, like it takes away your attention from doing other stuff like macroing and worrying about your economy. So as you can see, we lost that fight, and he was even not even fighting with three knights, and we ended up losing the fight. And he had six knights remaining, so he had half his army. The last one is these mangonels. Again, I'm just gonna patrol into them. I'm not gonna actually micro at all, and uh, we'll see just how we trade. Again, he's using one mangonel at a time, so kind of in luck. Right, we're gonna keep keep patrolling forward and see exactly just how we fought, uh, just how we fare. Go. So we ended up cleaning up the mangonels and we lost half our army. We've got ten left. Some are weak. And uh, just to do a little quick recap, we won the first fight with four. Uh, some are weak. We lost the second fight and he had six knights remaining. And we won uh, the last fight uh, and he had uh, and we had ten uh, crossbows remaining. So we're gonna go ahead and jump back out of here. So I'm gonna quit. And uh, we're going to run the same test one more time. This time I will be controlling my units. And we're going to see just how uh, much of a difference it makes in each scenario. All right. So let's test. All right. Some cheats going. Uh, again, the idea here is I'm only going to be doing hit and run micro. And I'm not going to do any other type of micro. So I'm going to use my units forward. And uh, the idea is as soon as I get in range, uh, you want to run sideways and stop them every time and target only one unit all right so it's just a rinse and repeat pattern uh, and what this does is it lets them when they're reloading instead of just standing still and taking the air fire i'm able to walk and actually dodge most of that air fire and as you can see i can inch forward walk back as long as i'm dodging those arrows instead of just taking them uh to the face while i'm standing still and reloading my shots so as you guys can see as i start winning the fight i can start moving more and more close towards my enemy prevent him from running away and it's just a zigzag motion while you stop and 
hit your opponent. And as you guys can see, I'm left with 12. Some are weak, but it's a significant uh, increase in uh, in army after the fight was done. Granted, it was AI micro, but again, it was AI micro and us patrolling. So uh, you guys can see that it, I do save about uh, three times my army. And that with 12 costos remaining, if you can actually win that fight in game, uh, those 12 costos can make a difference and actually do some more damage. All right, next we got versus knights. So again, range versus range is quite similar. You just zigzag versus knights. It's going to be really about moving back and then shooting. But this the idea is similar. You're not standing still uh, when you're uh, reloading. So again, I'm moving back, I'm hitting, and I'm moving back. Again, when I'm reloading, I'm creating a distance between my opponent and myself, and that that way, I'm not actually just taking free hits, uh, which means free losses. You have to be careful not to cancel your uh, shots there, so that comes with practice. I messed up a couple of times there. But as you, can see, as you guys can see, just the concept of microing versus these knights is making just a huge difference. And I'm, I've only lost two and he's almost lost. And remember, the three knights didn't fight in the first scenario, so this is pretty much the same exact situation. Uh, one with micro and one without. And it's, it's a clear uh, difference here. And again, when, I, when I'm winning the fight, you can move forward to close the gap and actually land more of your arrows. And as you guys can see, I lost only four crossbows. Granted, some of them are low HP, but I actually won the fight this time. And I have 18 crossbows remaining. Only with a little bit of micro. And the last fight, obviously the first time, uh, we won it with half our army remaining. This time we're going to try and not lose a single unit. Or at least if we do, we'll minimize the damage. So again, hit and run. The idea is the same. I'm shooting. And while I'm not shooting, and when I'm reloading, I'm moving. To dodge the shots. Take a big shot there. And when it's one, it's even easier. You just hit, and when you're not hitting, you're running. There you go, and it's very, very simple. Hit, run, hit, run. And if I didn't take that shot, I would have had everything uh, remaining. But I took one shot, and I ended up losing four uh, units. Some of them are hurt now, but again, across the board in every scenario, uh, it was worth it to micro, and I ended up winning with significant uh, army lead. One thing you can take though is that the biggest difference was the crossbows for knights. So in your games, if you're ever in a situation where it's crossbows for you and knights for your opponent, make sure that you're able to micro those crossbows because they make such a big difference. As you guys can tell, we lost it when we just patrolled and we won it significantly when we did a little bit of micro. So that's it for the first episode. It's just a little bit about hit and run micro. It's the first kind. Join me in the next episode when we're going to be talking about stop micro, which is very similar to hit and run. In fact, it uses some of the same concepts of hit hitting and running, like while you're moving when you're reloading, so you're not taking free damage. Uh, but it also uses a concept called stop, which is this button right here that stops your units instead of actually auto-selecting uh, the unit. So again, that's going to be tomorrow in the second part of this micro series. It's going to be seven videos split across seven days, and it's going to be exclusive YouTube content. But that's it. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and bye for now.